Hi, <coughs> uh, it's the first video I've done in a um, few weeks, um, I'd like to do more, uh, I went, the one I'm, what I'm doing now is one I've been on my mind for a while, um, but I just don't have any privacy at home and it's a difficult situation where I live. And um, it's really more trouble than it's worth if I'm discovered doing these videos. There'll be so many questions and <clears throat> I don't want to go there. So anyway, uh, what I wanted to talk about today was being heartbroken and losing the love of your life, your soulmate. Um, the first time I, I thought about doing this, this video, a few weeks ago, I was just so emotional and so upset that it's just as well I didn't do it then. Um, Although I probably had a clear idea of what I wanted to say, it was all fresh in my mind, all the feelings then. <laughs> but it probably would have been embarrassing. Um, I've mentioned in my previous uh, videos how um, I've been separated from my separated from my partner, separated from my ex, uh, well, two years, eight months now, and um, I, 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 I'll try and avoid going, repeating myself and going into all the reasons why uh, as much as I can, because um, that would make for a very long video. Uh, but just to recap, we'd been together uh, 23 years, um, met in our early 20s, have two children together. Um, and for most of that, it was, we had our struggles, just to be sure, but everyone does and they were happy times i was i was happy for most of it as was she uh, and you know yeah what what happened in the end was that you know difficulties of life and having children and my Undiagnosed, oh, damn wasp, go away. Um, uh, undiagnosed Asperger's, and then you know my depression and work issues. And it all became too much. Unfortunately, we had different approaches to um, dealing with a lot of this. She's conflict avoidant. And so she bottled things up. Uh, but at the same time, assuming I was neurotypical and that I would pick up all these, all her feelings and needs, um, <clears throat> and I was just thought I was being perfectly clear and stating my needs but I think neurotypical people expect don't don't expect a direct kind of approach. They I think they think there must be something more to what you're saying or that you're trying to put a different spin on things. I I, I don't know, I can't I'm not explain myself very well. Um 
Anyhow, things didn't work. That, that's that's been said before, so I don't I don't want to dwell on that. Um, there were the 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 accusations that came of abuse and um, which are untrue. Um, But yeah, so here we are, two, well, heading for three years now of separation. And it doesn't get any easier at all. You'd think, you'd think, they say time heals, and it doesn't. It's like a, still like an open wound. I mean, some days I'm better than others, in general, with my depression, but I miss her terribly. They say, oh, well, you, you know, you shouldn't be dependent on another person for your happiness, that, you, you know, you must be happy in yourself. Well, Sharing your life with someone else is one of the few things that makes life worth it and I can't imagine going on like this without the person who made me happy. And it's tragic because we had so much in common, similar ideas and experiences and things and, and childhood and all our interests I mean, not exactly the same of course but uh, there was a lot there that we shared in common what what hurts now is when I see her, which is not often, that she has visibly recoiled. But I just try to touch her, or if I wanted to hug her, and she refuses that. Um, for someone to show that kind of revulsion or disgust to you, that hurts. And I don't know where that comes from. And she, yeah, she only refuses to really now to, to, to communicate with me about anything except, you know, if it's about the children. Uh, I mean, the, 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 this is this is puzzling to me that you know after 23 years together and you know you, we know one another as well as you can just this sudden change it, it, it's it's it, it's it, to me it's it's like she's been replaced by another person you know I wonder where she's gone I mean it, you know you would have thought <laughs> by five years in, you should have known what kind of person I am, who I was, and what I was like. If she hadn't been happy then, why stay? And, uh, and then to, to stay till 23 years, and then claim after all that that it was just all right at the beginning, and uh, I, I, I can't comprehend. I... I've mentioned this before in another video that I, about, about, about a year after the breakup, I, I wrote her a very long letter, about 13,000 words, explaining, you know, my, my feelings and trying to be as honest as I could about what I thought and where we'd gone wrong and where we could have gone right and and what I felt about her, and I, I was being as honest as I could and put all my feelings down there and said things I hadn't even said before. 
she didn't even read it for more than a year, nearly a year and a half. And oh, I find out a couple of months ago she had finally read it, but there was no comment. Again, it's it, I, I don't understand. You, you, you can spend nearly a quarter of a century with someone, a large part of your life, and they take the time to, to write you as honest as they can, all their feelings. And you, you, you don't, you, there's nothing you can say about it. Not a, not a word, no response. She said after, um, after we broke up, oh, um, y you might, um, you might meet someone, or I might meet someone. I, I don't know whether that was meant to be a consolation or a suggestion or, or what. It's like, so inappropriate. I mean, I don't want to meet anybody else. Right now, I can't imagine being with anyone else. Um, I would do anything to make things right between us, but she's not open to the idea, not receptive at all. And apparently, she's not self aware of, you know, I don't think she's examined herself and her part in all this. She doesn't want to, I don't think. And I get upset I, I mean, I can't, I can't bear, say, if you see in a film or television, a, a love scene or sex scene or people kissing. I can't bear it. I can't bear to see it. It hurts. Same goes if I'm just walking down the street and I see a couple holding hands. I, have to, I, I can't look. It hurts too much. I spend a lot of time, I guess like many other people do, in similar circumstances, looking on, you know, various <coughs> message boards, forums and blogs and anything. You, you look, you search for hope for other people have managed to get back together. And I still can't help myself now and again, I, I do look. But I know it's hopeless, you, you can't compare your own situation to anybody else. But you want to believe and you... You want to find other people like yourself who've managed to undo all the harm and the hurt. Because I know we spent so many years together, there, there was something special there, and we did love one another. And if it's there once, it can be there again. And my feeling is it was the circumstances that, not us as such, but that, that came in the way and destroyed all that. So, so, I don't know what I was going to say, I'm, um, um, I, I'm just, just amazed that, you know, she can't find a way to discuss, I mean, I, it's as though she wants to erase me from history now, and I've asked many a time, what, what was it that I did? That, that was deserved, you know, to be 
evicted from my home and had my life torn apart and separated from my children. What was it? And she won't tell me exactly what it was. It's just vague statements or I should search my heart and my conscience. And no answers. Sometimes it's just too much and I end up crying and I know that other people, friends and <laughs> what family I have are sick of it. People don't want to know. It's the same <laughs> with the depression. But it doesn't ever look like we'll be back together. And I know I can't say it will never happen, but it doesn't look very promising. And I think when, when will this pain end? Because I don't want to be with anybody else. And at the same time, I don't want to be on my own for the rest of my life either. And I miss her company terribly. Anyway, I should do it for now, I think. <clears throat> Thanks for listening.